We need to identify the open intervals on which this function is increasing or decreasing. So the first step we need to take is to find the derivative of the function to get the critical numbers. So in order to get the derivative of this function, we're going to need to use the quotient rule and the chain rule. So first, we're going to start with the quotient rule, and that means you take the bottom term and bring it up. You multiply that by the derivative of the top. You're going to minus that by the the top term times the derivative of the bottom. Now when you take the derivative of the bottom, that's when you're going to be using the chain rule. So the power comes down out front, we lower the power by 1, and we multiply the term by the, in, the derivative of the inside. And that's all over the bottom term squared. <coughs> so when we simplify that, a couple steps there, we're going to end up with negative 2x over x minus 1 to the third. Now we take that term, and to find our critical numbers, we have to find out where f prime of x is equal to 0, or where it does not exist. It's going to equal 0 where the numerator equals 0, so in this case, when x equals 0, and it will not exist when the denominator equals 0, and that would be when x equals 1. So we can test our values. We test values near the critical numbers. So in the first interval, we test a value um, that is between negative infinity and 0, and we come out with a negative number. The next interval between 0 and 1, we come out with a positive number. And the last interval between 1 and infinity, we come out with a negative number. So that shows us where our intervals are increasing or decreasing. So we see that this function is increasing at 0 to 1, and decreasing between negative infinity and 0, and also between 1 and infinity.